Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another exporting results struggle. Today we're going to be talking about regression output. Just like before with those summary stats, we're going to walk through a couple of different forms of tables and a couple of different options, culminating with what I think is the most readable regression table. So if you're excited for this and the next couple of videos on exporting regression results, make sure to both subscribe and hit the bell so you know when those videos come out. Let's go ahead and get right into it with this lovely table that we're making today, table seven on regressions. The main things that I'm gonna highlight for you are the fact that we've named or labeled these variables right in the table, just like the summary stats. And again, this is just gonna be basic regression output. So let's jump over into Stata. Now we're in Stata. So what I've done is I've already read in this data and I'm just gonna, again, make sure that my est is clear so that I'm only outputting results from these regressions and not combining, say, like summary stats and regressions. I'm gonna store two different regressions. First, without controls, and then I'm gonna add these controls of foreign, headroom, and rep 78. So let's go ahead and do both of those. Now that we've done both regressions, we're gonna go ahead and output our results. So just like before, I'm gonna walk through the different options, and the code is below in the description if you would like to take a look or use it as some starter code. So we're gonna output this using this file. I want three decimal points in my standard error. I want two decimal points in my coefficients or my Bs. I'm gonna replace the file if it exists. This is the title that I want. Now I'm gonna title each column. I'm gonna call it no controls. And then the second column is gonna be with controls. Talk about how to reorder these in a separate video. These are the three coefficients that I wanna keep. So even though I have these controls, I don't really care what the coefficients on those controls are. I'm really just using them as sort of like a sensitivity on the coefficients on miles per gallon weight and length. So I don't want to report those coefficients. So this keep will make sure that I don't report the coefficient on like foreign headroom and rep 78. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just label those like you saw in the table. This is a very simple regression output. We're not worrying about notes right now or any sort of thing. Notice that what I don't have is this no num option. The reason why I'm taking out this no num option is because I want to number my columns and that's gonna make it easier if I'm presenting this table to say, okay, here's column one, here's column three, here's column two. So having those numbers in the table is just gonna make it easier on the reader. So I wanna keep those in. Now we've talked about notes and such in the previous videos. You can do those here. We'll use those in the videos coming up. So just to make sure this all works, I'll go ahead and rerun it. And you can see we have this output written successfully. So I'll jump in just to take a quick peek and make sure everything looks okay. And if we wanted to, if we wanted to be doubly sure, I made some folders in this overleaf. We'll talk about folders in a separate video, but this is just helpful if you've got a lot of different files. So if we just wanna be doubly sure that this table is updated in our latest version, I'll just go ahead and upload. I'm gonna upload from my folder, basic regression output. You can see it's a new table and I'll just replace that one we did in the intro video with our new table. So that's gonna be regression table and it's gonna be basic regression output. Go ahead, I'll recompile, make sure everything looks okay. And you can see that yes, indeed, we have a nice table that looks exactly like what it did before and we are done. So if this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.